Let me start by defining culture as I understand it. There are three definitions that can be thrown out there. That is Professor Yunus. Culture is defined as the creation, creative instance derived from a set of distinctive spiritual, material, intellectual, and emotional features of societies or the social group. Another definition a society's shared and socially transmitted ideas, values, and perceptions, which are used to make sense of experiences and generate behavior and are reflected in that behavior. As defined in the Declaration of the 1978 Bogata Conference on Culture Policy, culture was defined as the sum total of the values and creations of a society and the expression of life itself. Madam Chair, today I think the best benchmark definition of culture set out in the UNESCO's Universal Declaration on Cultural Diversity, adapted in 2001, defines culture as a set of distinctive spiritual, material, intellectual, and emotional features of the society, and as encompassing in addition to art and literature, lifestyle, ways of living together, value systems, traditions, and beliefs. This definition underscores the fact that no human society can create a path for their development with a blind eye to their culture and creative sector. Human societies with full understanding and appreciation of this fundamental principle are the ones reaping large economic benefits from their cultural and creative industries. Let me give you some examples. The creative industry adds over 12.2 billion with a B to the GDP of the province of Ontario. 12.2 billion, the GDP of Ontario. In 2011, Beijing Beijing's revenue from the culture and creative industry exceeded 139 billion. 139 billion, accounting for 12.1% of the GDP. The creative industry in the UK are valued at 57 billion. According to industry figures, the creative industries account for about one in every 10 pounds. The global consumer spending in the creative industry is estimated to be worth 1.7 trillion with a T. 1.7 trillion. Governments, particularly those from emerging economies, are aggressively embarking, enhancing their plans and strategies to be able to target and capture a significant share of the anticipated expansion value. The key strengths of Ghana's creative industry are in the richness of its culture and heritage. Our greatest challenge is how to understand and appreciate the full value and the marketability of that culture. When we think of economic development, immediately we think of increasing cocoa production or paying to discover more oil, or more gold deposits. Lately, we are increasing our efforts, teachers, parents, community members, and the private sector to increase the pool of soccer talent that we can afford. Perhaps we are yet to discover similar potential in the creative industry. The role of education in this whole Madam uh, Chair, from the definitions above, culture is not evil. It is learned ways of behavior. 